hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys we are going to show you guys how to make this beautiful i love you box this is like the most demanded video in my um channel so we're going to show you how to make this beautiful box today like a very detailed tutorial how to make the box itself and this as well in the box so if you want to know how i will learn how to make this box watch till the very end and don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel so here we have a black sticker we have a white sticker we have a white paper a solid tape a cutter refill we have a tape we have a steel rule we have a smoothener we have our cutter pen your glue we have scissors and then the printout i'm going to be telling you what we're using each of those equipments to do here we're trying to carve the i love you out from our printed paper so for this i love you you're going to print according to the size of box you want to make or according to the size of i love you you want to make our black sticker that i showed in the beginning is because we're making a black base so if you want to make a pink base or a blue base you get any of those for your stickers we are carving out the i love you so that it comes out clean before we start putting it on the board then when that is done we we'll go over to our board this is the board that we are using for this um box is a very strong board like cardboard but it's actually stronger than cardboard so we're going to be carving out for the i love you the i love you comes first before the main box i'm going to explain as much as i can for um, any beginner that wants to try making a box so please pay attention to the details i'm going to show you so the box that will contain this i love you paper is going to be four inches high so we're making the i love you in it to be two inches so that it fits into the box very well So after carving out our paper, we are going to place the I love you cut out on the paper so that we can be able to trace it on the paper and then cut it out. So we had to glue with um, our solid tape on the paper. Then now we are just tracing the I love you so that we can cut out neatly. I advise you use a pencil to do this so that you can be able to cut it out without your client seeing the pen or anything on it. So. You can use a pencil and clean afterwards after cutting out this is what it looks like we have cut out i love you and now we're going to draw another line please use a pencil when you're doing this part draw another line on the box so that you can easily fold it fold the box to make it look like a box actually the way it is looking behind so you can easily fold it this way <music> You're done folding you can go ahead and use your glue to hold both ends so it doesn't spoil or it doesn't open up again make sure you glue it very tightly when that is done we'll keep it aside and we go over to the main box itself what we just did was just to carve out the I love you that will be inside the box. So now we are working on the main box. 
like i said earlier this box is going to be four inches high you will determine how high your box will be depending on what you want to put inside the box so this box is going to be four inches high and what we are using is a very strong board this is not an ordinary paper this board is really really strong if you're shopping for your box please ask them they should know which one exactly tell them to give you a very strong board it's strong because you don't know how much weight is going to carry how the items inside the box will be heavy or thereabout so because our i love you that we carved out earlier was 10 inches wide the width this main boss is going to be 10.5 inches wide just so that the other i love you that we carved out will fit in perfectly into the box you won't make both of them same size because it will not fit in one has to be bigger which is the box itself the box that is carrying the i love you so the box is 10.5 inches wide we're going to carve uh, we're going to measure out four inches on both ends as well the four corner of the box and then we are going to carve it out please do this carefully this part you can even enjoy yourself because this board is so strong and then you try your best to carve it out and allow it to come out very clean so after that we'll proceed to the next thing so this is how the box looks before we fold it but first of all we're going to carve again on top so that we can be able to fold the box this way because the board is very hard you have to like carve it two times so that you can easily fold it now we are going to put our top bond we're using top bond as our glue for this one we'll place it on the board that's the inside of the box so that you can easily place the white paper on it normally the boxes that you see you don't see them brown in color you see them white in color so we have to place top bond and then use our white paper to cover it then this is where the smoothener comes in we use our smoothener to smoothen out the white paper on the main board so that it comes out very clean and smooth after that you cover out the excess papers and then be able to cover up your box which we're going to do in this video as well so when you have coupled all that together the next thing is to take your paper tape that's a solid tape and glue both ends of the box like when you put two together you use your paper tape and hold it very tight please make sure your, your tape is working so that it doesn't disappoint you you hold the four ends of the box now this is how this i love you is going to fit into the you remember box. earlier that we made our i love you to be 10 inches wide then the main box 10.5 so that's the reason for the extra five that is coming now we're going to measure out our black sticker so we can use it to cover our box of course we cannot give out our box this way so it has to be covered with any sticker color of your choice here we are going to make use of black you can try to make use of any other color purple blue white red any color you want to want your box to appear in this is a paper sticker for the cover of the box we are also going to use another paper that is not a sticker more like a cardboard paper so we'll just peel the sticker and use it to cover the box Please always ensure that you're covering neatly you always need a helping hand if you're doing such things like this so we're done with the base of the box it's looking all clean and beautiful i'm uh, going to also try to fit in our i love you into the box as well and show you how it looks this is very fine remember the size of the i love you depends on how big and how bold you printed it while going over to the cover of the box 
the cover of the box has to be a bit wider than the box itself so that it can cover perfectly so i think we did um we gave an extra inch for the cover of the box so that it fits in you can say to give half inch if you want it to fit tightly or just one inch so making the cover of the box is basically same thing we did for the base of the box is the only difference is the cover of the box is just one inch is shorter when it comes to the length but then it's wider because it has to cover the box very well so we did only one inch for the length of the the one inch deep for the cover but then we did 11 inches wide so that it covers the base of the box perfectly and we repeated same procedure in this one we are only going to make use of a cardboard a colored cardboard of course and we had to place after cutting that we had to place top bond glue on the cover of the box because this is not a sticker so we had to rub our glue on the cover of the box and then placed the paper on it so it holds it perfectly when it's dry <music> So we're going to be testing the cover of the box now we're trying it out and you see how it covers the base very well because we gave an extra inch basically we are done with this box but you can decide to give it an extra twist by placing a ribbon on your box so this is the final look of our box of our i love you box trust me this process might be long but it's very easy to learn and very simple to make you can try it at home try making an empty gift box as well if you don't want the i love you in it you can make an empty gift box and give it to a friend and use it to package your gift i really hope this helps because people have been asking me to make a video tutorial on this thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe remember to share this video to someone who needs it bye guys